Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, this is gonna be a car vlog, um, a car video, car vlog, I don't know what you call it. I'm talking in my car, how about that? Waiting for the kids there at Taekwondo, still another 30 minutes before their class is over. And I thought, hey, let me monopolize on this time that I have because I'm just sitting here waiting. Um, so several of you have asked about Whole30 and I wanted to just kind of chime in and give my thoughts on this process of Whole30. Um, I will say this very, before I even jump into this, I am not a medical doctor. I am not a certified nutritionist. I'm not anything other than just a regular person who is trying to be healthy and, and help my child to be as healthy as she can. Uh, this is working for Alana. And while it's not my choice, I would prefer keto. Um, I'm going to continue along on this journey with her. So that is what I am doing. And I am here for all of the things. Yeah, before you you know, embark on any type of nutrition change, lifestyle change, exercise regime, please, please, please consult your doctor. Yes, that is a golf cart going by in this neighborhood. This ain't our neighborhood, y'all. Somebody, although somebody in our neighborhood does have a golf cart. I'm like, okay, I see you neighbor with your golf cart. Um, <laughs> we are actually, uh, it, we had to change locations because the dojong is too small to accommodate the number of students that we have on the special teams as my kids are on a traveling taekwondo team. And so we had to um, punt and now we're meeting in the uh, at the instructor's house in their backyard. So they have a huge backyard. Um, we're thankful that the rain held off because it looks it, it was raining where we live. Uh, when we were coming over here, it looked like it was raining too. But at the further we got down... Um, the less cloudy it looked or dark, whatever. So anywho, what I'm saying is before you start any type of nutrition, exercise regime, and y'all, I just got done walking. I did three miles, three three point three seven miles in like an hour. I was not doing a very quick pace and I ran a little bit at the end. So I'm, I am slowly incorporating some exercise and some different things. But my doctor, when I switched over to keto, my doctor was all for it. She was here for all the things. Um, she said, Shakeem, I don't see any reason why you can't do this. It'll be fine. And then when we started going to the um, uh, pediatric specialist for Alana, she was the same. She's like, well, mom, if you're doing it, she can do it too. What we realized over time is that it wasn't keto wasn't working for alana carnivore works for her but keto does not so we thought okay we met with a nutritionist and we've seen nutritionists over the years both she and i have and it's, it's not about the number on the scale although we're trying to keep her a1c down we're trying to make sure that she is you know, healthy for a 17 year old she's 17 years old she does not need to be hindered or inhibited by weight or medical issues that she doesn't have to have. So if we can do something on our side of it, then we're going to do it. So when we met with a nutritionist, we met with a nutritionist March 1st. We we had her um, appointment with a specialist the 25th of February. We met with the nutritionist. Uh, we did a teleconference meeting that was... On March the 1st, we started Whole Foods, Whole 30 on March 4th. We went to the nutritionist again on the 20. We went on the 24th, 20 days. So 20 days between starting Whole 30 and nutrition appointment. And she had already lost five pounds. So the between the exercising and the eating, and I'm trying to, in addition to Whole 30, I'm trying to eat clean. So one ingredient foods, remember Sarah from our tribe of many has been talking about one ingredient foods. And I think there's Darcy, Darcy Isabella. I could say, I could totally have that wrong, but Darcy somebody is who Sarah talks about that she got it from. So looking on the back of you, I mean, we are reading the ingredients for real and we're, I'm reading. And if it has any crazy something, I'm like, nope, can't have that. So I'm trying to find different brands and different things that we are able to have uh, in our whole foods journey. So I'm totally getting the process out as much as, as I'm able. 
So um, I went online just to prep myself and my children. And um, I found this on Whole30.com. It's a printable PDF. It's two pages. And this has your fats, your herbs and spices, your pantry, drinks, your protein, your vegetables, and then your fruit. So this says right here at the top, it says best choice is to look for Whole30 approved or words like 100% grass-fed, pasteurized, wild-caught, or organic on a label. And that's for beef. I mean, that's for proteins. That's for your proteins. Avoid processed meats like sausage, burgers, bacon, deli meat, etc. with added sugars, carrageen, and MSGs or sulfites. So the bacon that I've been getting is from Aldi. It's never any bacon. That was on the Whole30 approved list. It wasn't on this list, but I Googled that one. So that's the bacon that I've been getting. Haven't found a deli meat yet except prosciutto, and we don't like prosciutto. It's too soft, and it's just like, it's melting your mouth soft, and I can't. It just, mm, -mm. So um, still looking for a deli meat. That is Whole30 approved. If you know of anything, let me know. Um, because I could do like a, a lettuce with deli meat and some spinach and some mustard inside. And that could be a snack for me or some tuna or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go through some of these. Um, and, and remember when I was keto, there were certain things I didn't eat for three years. I didn't eat one grain. I didn't eat anything that wasn't keto approved. Now I was dirty keto, a lazy keto, but I didn't eat rice grits i didn't eat oatmeal i didn't eat potatoes i didn't eat any white things um okay and since being on whole 30 i have now i haven't weighed i weighed the week the first week of whole 30 i was 192.2 and that's because i was doing a biggest loser challenge at at work and so that was the last weigh-in day so i did weigh then but it, it, I won't weigh again until April the 4th. I was 192.2 when I started. So I'm going to see, you know, if I've lost any. Because um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm sticking to the foods, which is fine. One thing I'm not doing, though, which I need to do. Whole 30 is three meals a day. They encourage no snacking, but you can have two small snacks depending on which website you look on. So three meals a day. Sometimes I do not eat breakfast. I just, for some reason, just, right, like, don't have time. And um, sometimes I don't eat dinner. It's just, but I eat, I eat the largest meal of the day at lunchtime. I'll eat, I'll consume the majority of my calories at lunchtime. Now, I don't count calories either. So I'm not counting any calories. Um, Can't tell you, and I've been using my, Apple Watch to do my steps and my standing and activities and all that. So I've been using what I have, doing my best. So let me go through this list because I know some people were asking. So um, I'm going to start with the proteins. Proteins, anchovies, ground beef, other beef, steak, bison. You can have carne seca, which is like a jerky. You can have chicken, the breast or the thighs. You can have ground chicken. You can have chicken sausage. So I may even try to see if I can find, I know at Costco, they usually have like a chicken sausage. Oh, UPS guy. Somebody got something. Whoop. Um, or a whole chicken. And I do have two whole chickens. I forgot I had two whole chickens in my freezer. Hmm. Deli meat, of course, I'm not, I've not found any deli meat. That was one ingredient. I should Google Whole30 approved deli meat. I'm going to Google that. Duck, eggs, flounder, lamb. We had ground lamb last night. Liver or other organ meat from the beef, the pork, or the turkey. Not eating that, period. Mackerels, mussels, mutton, octopus, nope. Oysters, pork, bacon, pork chops, ground pork, or pork sausage. And again, you got to look on, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm itching because this pollen is out here and I was walking. I walked for an hour. You have to look. What I do, even though this list says I can have it, I'm still looking at the ingredients. I'm looking at the one ingredient foods because I'm trying to do Whole30 plus the one ingredients or I will Google 
Whole30 approved pork sausage options and see what comes up. Um, Roe, staple fish, salmon, sardines, scallops, sea, any other seafood, shrimp, snapper, squid, trout, ground turkey, other turkey, whole turkey, venison, or other game meats or white fish. Um, I didn't see tilapia up here, but I'm counting that as white fish, period, the end, because it's cheap and I can eat that. Although we do like cod, cod is more expensive and you don't get as many in the in the bag. We don't have, well, there's one seafood place, like a seafood um, market where I live, but I've never been in there. Never, ever. So I get my groceries at the grocery store. Oh, somebody's honking. All right, vegetables. Uh, this is a comprehensive but not exhaustive list. All veggies but corn and llama beans are Whole30 compatible. So any veggie except corn and llama beans. Now, an another thing said peas, hmm, but this has peas on it. So acorn squash, artichoke, arugula, asparagus, beets, bell peppers, bok choy, broccoli raw, broccoli or broccolini, Brussels sprouts, butter, buttercup squash, butternut squash, cabbage, calabaza, callaloo, carrots, cassava, cauliflower, celery, chard, chayote, cucumber, Delicata squash, eggplants, endives, fennel, fri frise, which is a curly endive, garlic, green beans, greens, beets, collards, dandelion, mustard, turnips, etc. Any greens, hearts of palm, which we do like hearts of palm for a pasta substitute if we can find it linguine or angel haired, if we can find it that way. Jalapenos or hot peppers, jicama, kale, leeks, lettuce, mushrooms. No Paul, I don't know what that is. Nori, okra, onion, parsnips, peas, they say green, yellow, or split. All potatoes, all pumpkin, I mean, all potatoes, pumpkin, radish, rhubarb, romaine, rutabaga, sassafras, shall shallots, snow or snap, sugar snap peas. Snow or sugar snap peas, okay. Spaghetti squash, spinach, sprouts, summer squash, sweet potatoes or yams, Swiss chard, tomato, turnips or zucchini that's in the vegetable list um fruit all this is a comprehensive but not exhaustive list all fruit is whole 30 compatible apples apricots bananas blackberries blueberries cherries cranberries dates elderberries figs grapefruits grapes all grapes kiwi kumquats lemon lime mango melon nectarine oranges all oranges papaya pawpaw peaches pears persimmons pineapples plantains Plums, they have plantains as a fruit, okay. Plum, pomegranate, raspberries, salmon berries, strawberries, tangerines, watermelon, and something I can't, can't pronounce. Then they have your fats, right? So cooking fats, clarified butter, coconut cream, coconut milk, coconut oil, duck fat, extra virgin olive oil, ghee, lard, palm oil, or tallow. So no bacon fat. I did cook something in bacon grease the other day, but I, I didn't realize Okay, so no bacon fat. Um, eating dressings, avocado, avocado oil, coconut butter, coconut flakes or shredded, coconut milk, canned, light olive oil, olives or sesame oil. Nuts and seeds, acorns, almond butter, which I have been having in place of peanut butter. Almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, cashew butter, flax seed, hazelnuts or filberts. Macadamia nuts, macadamia butter, peanut, I mean pecans, not peanuts, pecans, pine nuts, pistachios, pumpkin seeds, or pepitas, sesame seeds, sesame seed butter, or tahini, um, sunflower seed butter, sunflower seeds, or walnuts. I can't find tahini. If anybody knows where that is on the, which aisle that's on, I've been looking for that because I was trying to make that cauliflower hummus and I couldn't find the tahini. Herbs and spices. Allspice, basil, bay leaves, black pepper, black peppercorns, cayenne, chili pepper, chipotle powder, chives, cilantro, cinnamon, cloves, ground cloves, coriander, cumin, curry powder, red or yellow, dill, garlic powder, ginger, ground cloves, which they have that on here twice, lemongrass, mustard powder, nutmeg, onion powder, oregano, paprika, parsley, red pepper flakes, rosemary, sage, salt, iodized or sea salt. I use pink Himalayan, living my best life. Tarragon, thyme, turmeric, vanilla extract, or wasabi. Vanilla extract? Listen, okay, vanilla extract. See, if I knew that I could have vanilla extract, 
I'm about to live my best life because I I bought the creamer for my coffee, the nut pods, but I need a little something to take that because it don't taste like nothing. I'm like, mm, and I don't mind black coffee, but if I'm going to put creamer in it or nut pods, I'd like it to taste a little something. So vanilla extract, okay. Pantry staples, almond flour, anchovy paste, apple cider vinegar, arrowroot powder, balsamic vinegar, beef broth, beef kvass, black garlic, Canned butternut squash, canned olives, canned pumpkin, canned salmon, canned sweet potato, canned tuna, canned capers, chicken broth, co cocoa, or 100% cacao, coconut aminos, coconut flour, dried cranberries, dried fruit, fish broth, fish sauce, hot sauce, kimchi, mustard, orange blossom water, pickles, preserved lemons, raisins, sauerkraut, red wine, vinegar, rice vinegar, roasted red pepper, sardine, tahini, Tapioca starch, tomato paste, tomatoes diced or crushed, tomatoes sun-dried, veggie broth, or white vinegar. Now, the one thing up here that I didn't realize that I'm looking at this now, it says dried fruit. Again, because I'm trying to do 100% one ingredient, dried fruit does have cane sugar. If you look on the back and the ingredients, so just look, check your ingredients. Or Google dried fruit, whole 30 approved, and see what comes up. Then for drinks, they have apple cider, Cacao, 100% drinks, club soda, coconut water, coffee, fruit juice, kombucha, mineral water, naturally flavored water, seltzer water, sparkling water, tea, and vegetables. So again, all that may be, but I'm still looking at the one ingredient. So when I went to look for sparkling water, not all sparkling water is created equal. La Croix, I think, is one, or La Croix, whichever way you say it. And then the Polar, Polar is one, but not the ice. Ice is not Whole30 approved. So it just depends. Um, I say do your research before you start anything. Uh, one of the things that we noticed with Whole30, you got to prep. If you don't prep, you're going to be in a mess. Like today, um, today is Friday. I didn't have any food for lunch, but we had prepped Wednesday. We did pork chops and we did, I only did pork chops. So we, by the time we ate Wednesday night, then for lunches on Thursday and dinner for Thursday night, that was it. Well, we actually didn't even have enough for dinner Thursday night. I should have cooked both packs of those um, pork chops because they were only like six in a pack. So I should have cooked 12. That would have given us at least two days worth of pork chops. Um, but we did have the lamb. So we took the lamb out and we used that. It was ground lamb. Now, somebody asked me, why don't I eat lamb? I don't eat lamb mainly because it's expensive so i mean i'm not paying the prices i did find some little tiny lamb chops the other day well it was a couple weeks back and they were like five dollars and i think i got six in there and they were tiny they were little tiny little medallion sized lamb chops but they were really good so i did get those that was pre whole 30 though i think we were doing carnivore at that time so for me my best times to go and find meats are on Sundays at the food line close to where I live because they do a lot of markdowns. And so I'm usually able to find meats on Sundays, but sometimes meat doesn't fall in my budget. And so I have to be cautious about what I'm able to afford. And of course, I'm spending a little bit more on Whole30 because I'm shopping produce. And right now, produce is expensive. I think everything is just going up right now. And... um so it's 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 causing it it's a challenge to try to get everything that I need um on the budget that I have but you know it's good I'm able to get the things that I need and God is gracious and he has um blessed us I went to the um, PO box today and there was a a Walmart gift card and I'm so very thankful just so thankful to people um somebody sent a blessing for the car I'm like God is just so amazing but he you know, the Bible tells us when we're um, faithful with the little, he'll make us Lord and ruler over the much. And so we have to be faithful where we are. I know sometimes people look at me and they go, oh, Shakima, you think you have this and you have that. Um, God's not doing that for me. You got to be faithful where you are. I remember when the kids and I had $25 a week, period, for groceries. And that was it. And I was couponing like a crazy person, um, trying to make sure that my kids ate. But I was faithful in the coupons. I was faithful in that budget. And God has blessed me and increased it. So now we're able to have a little bit more. Still not what I think we should have. I'd love to go to Costco and just throw all the things in my car. I'd be seeing like Costco hauls for $1,000 or 
$2,500 Costco hauls. I'm like, $2,500 is what I bring home for the month. Like, who is, where are these people? Child. So I don't have envy in my heart for other people, you know, what other people have. I'm just faithful over what I have. And what I have is what I have. And I'm very thankful. God's just, he's gracious to me. And, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. Um, but with Whole30, you have to prep. If you don't prep or if you're not home every day. I'm not home every day. So I have to prep. I've got to make sure that I have lunches prepared. So I was in Walmart earlier today. And I'll show you guys this. Because I thought this was a good deal. And, it, and I, yes, I have not taken anything out of my car. They had these um, meal prep storage containers. These are the squares. These fit in my fridge better. Um, these are the whole squares. So they don't have the little divot thing there. But these were on sale. You get five of them. They were for a dollar. So I picked up four of these. And what I thought I could do, and I did get the ones with the... Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. This one has the um, the side container. Right? So, they were a dollar. So, I picked up four packages, which gives us 20 of these. And so, I could prep veggies or meats or, or even if I don't cook it, I could still pre-prep it for cook day. So, if like on Sundays, I go and I find meat and I don't have time on Sundays or if I find veg. Because sometimes... Sometimes on a Saturday morning, you can go to your regular grocery store and they are marking down produce. So sometimes if I can get that in, I just get it washed up and chopped up real good or whatever. I can put it in the fridge. It's still going to last for a couple of days until I get to my prep day. But I can go ahead and lay lunches out or, you know, for me and the kids, whatever lunches we want to have. And then we have it and we just pulling it out. I know um, Nicole Collette. I used to watch her quite a lot way back. Her and her husband, uh, they're from Canada. But they do meal prep things like this. Or they used to when I was watching them. I really just haven't watched a lot of YouTube lately. Too busy trying to film over here, y'all. Um, but that's one thing. You've got to prep and you have to have your containers and stuff ready. You have to be... You have to make a mental shift. I know for me, going off cheese and dairy, but I think my body type doesn't like cheese and dairy. Well, I've never not had cheese and dairy my whole life. So this is the first time that I'm not having cheese and dairy. And the regularity of all the things is very regular. I wasn't regular before. My, I would tell my doctor, she's like, well, Shakima, how regular are you? I was like, I, once a week, maybe. She's like, oh, well, maybe that's your norm. That is not normal. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's normal. I'm sure not normal but don't ask me because i could be wrong again i'm not a doctor but she said that's my normal i'm like ah oh, ma'am i really don't think that's my normal just saying all the things um but okay so all the kids are they're done now anywho so prepping is key um what do I, what else did i want to say plan meal plan you got to make a you got to make a plan shop your groceries and then plan around what you have especially if you find it a challenge to um afford whole 30 so shop what you can and then plan around what you have the biggest part of whole 30 for us like i was in walmart i think two weeks ago or three weeks ago i can't remember and I was on the outsides of that store. I was in the produce department just getting all the groceries. And I'm like, man, I've got so many produce things in my in my cart. I couldn't even believe it. Because traditionally, I would have, you know, I'd be going up and down getting all the things and not a lot of produce because produce is expensive. And so if I cannot, if I don't have to pay that money, I prefer not. And I would just get other things that were keto friendly, keto approved. But Whole30 is whole foods grown in the ground. Get all of the things, um, you know, do do it like that. So it's working out for us. We prop, I, I prep on Wednesdays because Wednesday's grocery day. So I prep on Wednesdays. That works out for us. Um, what else? I try to make enough food for a couple days, three days at least. Cause then I can prep again on Saturday or Sunday, but I try to do a Saturday because I have more time on Saturday. So I'm looking at all of the things. So, um, 
what I'm using, what I'm doing is just what's best for my child. Right now, this is best for Alana. Jackson, of course, he goes in and out. He vegetarian today. He vegan tomorrow. He keto today. I mean, Jackson just, he ninja. He do his own thing and I let him. Um, he is still a fairly little guy, you know, and it's perfectly fine. So I don't fight with him over the, the little logistics of his meals. He eats rice. I don't eat rice. Neither does Alana. That's okay. The dog eats rice. So he'll make a big batch and share it with the dog. Ma'am will get rice in her meals a couple of times and it'll all be well. So, um, you know, it is, it is really just what it is. And, um, we're, we're making the best of it. We're doing our very best with it. Um, I haven't seen anything that is like anything I wouldn't want to continue doing. I think after, let me see. So April 4th is the day that we're done with Whole30, the 30 days. We're on spring break actually that next week. But what I plan to do is I am going to have one cheat day. I don't know if I'm going to have a cheat meal. I think I'm going to eat a little bit of all of the things I like. And the kids, of course, will will we'll just go to a couple different places we want to go to. We'll find a few little things and share it across with each other. And then what we're planning to do, I'm planning to go right back to Whole30 the very next day. So that is just what I'm doing. It just works out for me. Um, so far, so good. I'm not even complaining about Whole30. I like it. I, I like eating the things I haven't been able to eat on keto. And it works out very well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I know Krispy Kreme is on my list. And I know, Shakima, you don't even need that. No, I don't. And I'm not going to eat every donut. What I plan to do is get a couple different things and divide them into fours and the kids and I will share. So we may get six donuts that we really want that we haven't had be you know in three years. Split it into four pieces. Everybody gets a piece of something. Um and then there's the sweet shop where Alana works. I think I want to get a couple of the croissants there. And I want I really, really, really want a piece of chocolate cake. I mean really a piece of chocolate cake would be like the best in life. So you know I'm I'm trying to make do and then I'm also thinking do I really even want to do that because you know I don't have to have a cheat day I'm perfectly fine eating the things that I'm eating there are some um and then I don't want to undo what I've done I don't want to damage my body and the progress I've made if I've made any progress by eating randomly you know I just don't want to do that so I'm kind of up in the air a little bit about it I do I would like to I would enjoy those things if I got them but I don't want to undo what I'm doing in addition to the whole 30 if you have not been exercising I'm not doing anything but walking I'm getting in my steps I'm just walking and that is the end of it I'm walking I'm that's it. I get up around, if I'm at the office, I'll walk around the building a couple times. I get up from my desk just to kind of break up that time that I'm just sitting and my watch tells me time to stand. So I get up and I'll take a couple laps, probably twice around the building, um, two different times. So I try to just kind of move. If I'm, you know, at a different school that day, I'll, you know, take a lap around that school or what have you, if I'm in a free period or around my lunchtime or whatever. Um, kids are coming back face to face. So I already know that um, I, I won't be able to um, do that as much. But when I come home, um, like I said, the kids had, had practice here. So what I did was I just walked. I walked around this neighborhood. I don't know these people. They don't know me, but life was good. And it was all the things. So my children just came to drop off their things because they are staying for a pool party. That's what I'm saying. And I am going to be sitting here for another two hours. Just sitting. Mm -hmm. Sitting. Like, what do I have that I could be doing? Um, um, anyway, that's my thoughts on Whole30. It is, again, not anything stringent for our family, but we've already been doing an uh, alternative lifestyle as far as keto for foods is concerned. 
So it works out well for us and we didn't have any issues with it. Um, we love it. We're doing good. And if there's, you know, anybody that has questions to the best of my ability, I'll help. I can't, I don't know all the answers. I just know the things I know. So if you have questions, leave me a comment down below. If you, you know, are doing something or have suggestions, let us know. We'd be happy to um, have all the suggestions. Um, yeah, we're just living our best life. All things are well. Um, and it's perfect. So anywho, there it is, you guys. Just want to thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We would love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Hit that little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. Um, we are so very thankful to have you in our community. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye now.